Okay, I've dragged on some pen blocks here, clear, so that will clear everything that's on the background there, pen down and pen up, because I might need them later, I can execute them by double clicking. So instead of just starting when green clicked, what I'm going to do is have an event and I'm going to have when I receive a broadcast. So when I receive a triangle, click OK, I'm going to repeat three times, moving 100 steps forwards, and it's 100 so we can see what's going on, just so it's a little bit bigger than 10 steps. Now each internal angle of the triangle is going to be 120 degrees, so under motion I turn by 120 degrees. Now if I don't clip in a pen down, then when he runs, oh of course it's not when green clicked, it's when I receive triangle. And we haven't got anything to generate the triangle. If I double click, he moves, and there's no mark there because we haven't done pen down. That will work, double clicking on the blocks, but I might want a when green clicked broadcast triangle but I think I'm happy with double clicking. I can use pen down, double click, and it creates the triangle, and I can clear. So we're gonna do a similar exercise with a square. When I receive square, probably want to put the pen down again, if not, we won't be able to see what we're doing. Repeat four times. Move 100 steps again. And we'll turn 90 degrees for each corner. Because each angle within a square should be 90 degrees. Double click and it draws a square. Now you might ask, why use the broadcast function here? It's so we can put a row or combine these shapes together to make different shapes by the combination. So instead of writing pen down, repeat three, move 100 steps, turn 120 degrees, we're minimizing how many blocks we drag on because we might make mistakes. So this is about repetition, it's about not using blocks unnecessarily.